Right -o. on to the adult apron. So the only thing left to do on the adult apron is to do the next strap and finish this top edge. So taking my <laughs> tape measure, off you go Puss Puss, I'm gonna just cut a 12 centimeter piece of webbing. She's in my box of pins now, this is not good. Um, so I've got my 12 centimeter piece of webbing here and then I'm gonna thread that through both of the D-rings. And I am gonna fold that in half. So you've got those raw edges meeting there. I'll just put a clip in there to stop those D-rings from coming off. Now what I wanna do is I just want to go to my machine and sew down here to secure those in place. And there's my piece of uh, webbing with the D-rings in it. So now I'm gonna just sew to in case those D-rings in place at the end of that fold. So I'm just gonna pop my foot down um, and it's quite roomy there. I've got plenty of room to get my foot beyond those two D-rings and I'm just gonna sew back and forth. Do it nice and secure and uh, trim off those threads and there, that's my d-rings attached and there you go can you see how you've got that line of stitching there and both of those d-rings are now encased at the end i've attached my uh, d-ring to the top edge here right by the corner and I'm now going to um, attach the other end as well. So I'm just gonna put that there. You can choose which end to have these D-rings on. I don't know if it makes much of a difference, to be honest with you, whether they're on your left or right-hand side. Um, and yeah, so these are just, just in from the edge where I've um, folded over the edge there. So I'm just gonna attach those by sewing those in place within the seam allowance, just like I did with um, the children's apron. I'm just using the red thread because it was in there already. And these stitches aren't going to show. I've got my, um, I'm sat on my machine and I've got my red thread in. I'm just going to finish off that end. So I'm going to fold it in by a centimetre and fold it in by another centimetre. And if the cat wasn't asleep on my ironing board, I'd press it, but she's decided that that is the best place in the house to sleep. <laughs> so never mind. So you can see now. I've attached the both ends there and I've just finished off uh, the end of my webbing tape nice and neatly. So now I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to do exactly the same as what I did before on the children's apron, which is to turn and press, turn and press, and then bring those two tapes up towards the top securing with wonder clips and then I'm just going to sew along that edge there and then I'm gonna sew along here and sew along here and that will finish off my apron so that you will end up with it looking like that on the right side before I switch my thread back over to the uh, natural beige color again I'm just going to show an extra step, which is with the adult apron. I'm just going to sew through the middle of that pocket. I'm going to start at the bottom and come to the top. So starting at the bottom of the pocket and using the crease that I pressed through the middle as a guide, I'm just going to sew 
through that pocket to divide it in two. This is a purely optional extra that you can do if you want. A couple of stitches to back stitch. And then keeping everything nice and flat and making sure that nothing's caught up underneath. I'll just come all the way to the top of the pocket. And um, it just helps the pocket to stay in place rather than sagging forward. And also it's probably a bit more useful of a, as a split in half pocket, but again, it's a complete matter of your own preference, what you want to do. There we go. Let's see, where's my thread cut down? There we go. So let me move the machine out of the way so you can see. Can you see how that is probably is such a good thread match you can hardly see it but there you go you've got a line of stitching going up there which is just separating that pocket into two and your apron is finished so i've just sewn along this edge here and then i've just sewn here and here to secure these in that upright position that sounds like um when you're on an aeroplane, doesn't it? Haven't heard that phrase for a little while. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this round here, round and back. And I'll quickly show you how to um, thread your D-ring. Um, I go through both hoops from the front to the back and then go back through only one, the top one. So, uh, pull to the desired length and then let the tail end hang down behind. And you then have a nice adjustable um, neck strap for your apron, um, which looks very professional, I think, and very nice. There you go. So you just have that bit extra there. And that is a lovely adult and child's apron um, finished with our lovely gingerbread applique detail pocket and adjustable neck strap. I hope you've really, really enjoyed today's tutorial and hope you enjoy your sewing that you're doing today. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like, press the like button um, <laughs> if you liked it. <laughs> if you didn't, then don't. <laughs> um, and I do quite a few of these tutorials, so hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day baking and a wonderful day sewing and I shall see you very soon.